to film with friends Missing VHS videotape repeating Welcome back to another haul video. This is a mixture of CDs, DVDs, um, one VHS, some books, and some other miscellaneous. Starting off with this piece. And the nightstand. The nightstand uh, came in to my work at City Thrift last weekend. It came from a couple uh, haul videos ago. We saw these two wood grain uh, seven inch speakers realistic brand they came from a woman who's dropping off a bunch of stuff because her father passed away so she was cleaning at his house a man named james so this used to be his nightstand so i bought it because uh, it kind of matches the wood grain i have in the rest of my room and what i plan on having in my new place so that was kind of a cool piece antique really well really well made um so i'll do all the media first that way if you guys are interested in books or the miscellaneous you can turn it off but i got this just says baby Devin so it's like presumably somebody's uh, birthing tape of them being born so that'd be interesting to look at probably not interesting for the channel but then I got blu-ray of the knowing not a great film but it's Alex Proyas who I like so directed by Alex Proyas the director of the crow and dark city uh, X files I want to believe which I don't recall if I have this on DVD or not but if I do, I just have the DVD and not the case. And I got Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2, since I have all the other Marvels in, D in DVD form for my Plex account. This one's still in the package. I got this Jaws 3 movie collection. Jaws 2, Jaws 3, Jaws the Revenge. This 50th Anniversary Collector's Edition Victory at Sea, the legendary World War II documentary from the History Channel and NBC News. I think it's four discs. 11 hours and 30 minutes black and white. Should be neat. I got the Jurassic Park Ultimate Trilogy. Jurassic Park, Jurassic, the World Lost World Jurassic Park 2, Jurassic Park 3. Not the biggest Jurassic Park guy, but they do have some really cool additions of stuff that they put out. So I figured it is, you know, I, I can get this stuff for essentially a dollar each. I mean, you're looking pretty much everything here was a dollar each plus my discount, so 75 cents roughly per piece. Because like box sets are the same as a single disc is the same as a three disc, a single disc is the same as a four disc, a single disc is the same as a three disc. It's all the same price per, per unit, so. Uh, then I got this. Rainbow Valley Fire Department, brand new in the box, 10 discs, um, it's fire prevention series, I don't know, I like box sets, I like things that are brand new, unopened, I still in the back of my head, you know, my kid's going to be 15 this year, but uh, I always think about grandbabies and my niece and nephew's kids eventually, so I want to have like a big archive of multimedia for them to, if I remember babysitting when they were young, have them, stuff for them to watch that's not, you know, Netflix and woke garbage. So eventually I'll, I'll open that and put it in my Plex account or just have a line around when I'm babysitting someday, hopefully. And then when I was leaving Sunday, I worked an opening to five shift and right as I was leaving this big, I think like three big boxes of CDs came in. Somebody was like ditching their entire uh, archive of CDs. So I went through it and there's a lot of late 80s, mid 90s stuff. So I, I went kind of crazy. So I got Toad the Wet Sprocket. Fear. The Cure Close to Me Remix in a Digipack. A lot of them have these little stickers with, with the person's initials on them, so that kind of sucks, but I'll take what you can get. Screaming Trees, Sweet Oblivion. A lot of these are like one hit, not really one hit wonder band. Well, one hit wonder bands to me in the 90s, these are bands I heard of and never really listened to. Maybe know like they're one big hit. And so I'm kind of trying to go back to that time and, you know. Uh, give those artists an uh, actual good listen to. Fuel, something like human. The White Room, the KLF. I don't know if you know this, but KLF is going to rock you. 3 a.m. Eternal. Boop, boop. A 
CD that's surprising that I never owned, but Alanis Morissette, Jagged Little Pill. This is a huge album. Veruca Salt, Eight Arms to Hold You. Deep Blue Something, Home. I said, what about Breakfast at Tiffany's? She said, well, I kind of liked it. Woodstock 94, Two Disc. Fuel, Sunburn. Lisa Loeb and the Nine Stories, Tales. Toad the West Sprocket, Dulcinea. The Cranberries. What does that say? Everybody else is doing it, so why can't we? This is the album before, like their big album. What's the Story, Morning Glory by Oasis? Smashing Pumpkins, Melancholy, and the Infinite Sadness. Now, of course I have this already, but I got this in case my daughter didn't have it, but turns out she already has a copy of it too from somebody else in our family on her side that gave it to her. And the last one is Gimme Some by Peter Bjorn and John. And this doesn't have like their one hit on it, so this is after, a couple years after the song that I had the big, the big hit with. And then we've got some books going on. So the next will be Miscellaneous. And then books. So if you're not interested in that, you can turn it off here. But the next two books are sort of movie related. These came in. I was excited. Novelization for The Karate Kid by B.B. Hiller. And the novelization for The Karate Kid Part 2. Now doing individual inspection videos on movie novelizations is something that I've had in the back of my head for a while. I used to have a whole bunch. And now I'm slowly recollecting some. So that's something you want to see movie novelizations, specifically horror movies and whatnot, um, comment below, let me know, and I'll start doing those. And I tracked these two down, they got by me. We saw these in the big haul video I did, the great illustrated classics, Little Women, and Black Beauty by Anna Sewell, Louisa May Alcott. A couple of haul videos ago, I think a big massive haul video I think that was episode 20 of this series. Had a whole bunch of these, and somehow these two got by me. And this just seemed interesting to me. A Treasury of Railroad Folklore. The stories, tall tales, traditions, ballads, and songs of the American Railroad by B.A. Bodkin and Alan F. Harlow. I worked for the railroad for a little bit. I mean, I was in my early 20s. A friend of mine still does. But it just seems like that was kind of a cool book. Like I said, if I can get it for a dollar, dollar and a quarter, why not? And then Old Time Gardening Wisdom. This just seemed, I don't know, interesting. So if I ever get my own place, my own house, eventually someday I want to do some of my own gardening. So, I like that book. It's a good addition. And then, for the conspiracy theorist in me, I thought this was fun and funny. The Deep State Prophecy and the Last Trump. So by Kenneth B. Klein. It just seems like it could be a fun read. And this one is a book I actually had in my Amazon account uh, on my wish list. and just happened to come in, but it's The Kybalian Hermetic Philosophy by Three Initiates, which I can't even begin to explain to you what that is or what that means, but I've literally been, have been wanting to get this book for a while. So it's kind of a cool addition. The Yogi Publication Society. And the next, so that's the end of the media. The next will be some actual miscellaneous things. Um, this came in from a guy I was talking to who's asking us about whether or not we take big old TVs, like the big CRT cathode ray tube TVs, and we told him no, but he said that he had this big nice one that's like in the wood, the wood paneling and all that, and the built-in speakers, and he said if I helped him move it out of his house that I could have it, but I don't have a way to put it right now. He also said he has a ton of VHS in his basement that he's looking to get rid of, so I told him to bring it in. He can just donate it or, 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 or tip it or gift it to me, and I can just have it. But we found this. This is the case it goes in. This came from that guy. So he was moving his, his mother in, or his mother-in-law, in with them. Uh, so they're getting rid of a lot of her stuff. It's an old Vivitar. This is the Tela 703. Yeah. 
didn't go all the way. I showed this to a dude I was working with who's like 21. He had no idea what it was. He didn't know it was a camera. But yeah, it came as cool, a carrying case. We had one like this in the basement somewhere in my house, but my mom says she threw it away. And then I found this. This is a cool piece. This is an old, an old travel clock. You open it up like that. Flops open like that. And you can set it up. Boom. There's these little lever things on the back. You use those to set the date of the day, of the date, and, we'll, and you can set the month on the side, and it's actually wind up. So you, you travel with this, and now if you're changing time zones a lot, you just wind it up, and you can set the time to wherever you are. Now the second hand is ticking, but the second hand isn't moving. Besides that, it keeps perfect time, because I reset it the other day, and you just have to keep rewinding it. But I showed this to my friend Jonathan at Bo's. And he said he'd been looking at these on Etsy, and he'd been wanting one. So I told him that this one seems to be working, except for the second hand, and then he kind of balked at the idea of it, but he knew I was going to buy it anyway. So if I ever come across another one, I'm, I'm, I'll get that too. And then one cool piece, which just happened to be sitting in the donation room, that looks like somebody, like an ex-employee was going to get, but they never did, came in this bag. So we opened it up and looked at it. And it turned out to be this. An old Pentax, Asahi Pentax K1000. Actual 35 millimeter film camera. I forgot how we opened it. Like that. Crank it open. So, I think the lens, it comes stock like this piece here. This is an add-on lens, I'm pretty sure. And then also had the secondary lens with it. Now, this lens alone is probably a couple hundred bucks. This lens is probably a couple hundred bucks. The camera itself is probably a couple hundred bucks. I looked on eBay, and like a package like this is selling for good between $100 and $300. I got it for $15. It kind of works because I want to have some old tech like this laying around as like display pieces at the new apartment. But it also works doubly because my daughter, when she's a sophomore next year, uh, she's going to be taking darkroom photography. So she'll be learning how to actually shoot on film and develop film. So she'll actually have a 35 millimeter camera. Of course, there's a shoe right there for a light, and it came with a light as well. But that's the only piece that needs uh, batteries, is, I'm fairly certain, is the, uh, the light. But pretty cool little find. So I got a camera now. And then the last big piece, I'll have to grab. We got a made of ABS polymers, Psycho, Psycholac, Signature 440T. Nice typewriter. I haven't tested it out too well yet. Probably needs, obviously, it's going to need a new ribbon. But there actually is a place locally in the Kansas City area that actually still restores old typewriters and sells ribbons and stuff. Because I remember I ordered a ribbon for another typewriter I bought years ago, and I got a ribbon sent to me. I ordered, I ordered it off eBay, and when I got it, I looked at it and it had been mailed, had been shipped from Kansas City. So I looked the place up, and sure enough, they're like 15 minutes away. To look at my setup. Nice, right? So yeah, I think it was like 2016, 2017. I think it was 2017. My daughter for Christmas wanted a typewriter. So I got on eBay and I bought like four different ones. Just so I could get my hands on one that was in really good condition. So I, the two two I got, were, or I think I got three off eBay. One was junk, so I ended up tossing it. The second one was sort of okay, but needed some work. So I held on to it, but I think I might have ended up tossing it the last time I moved. From, uh, last time I moved storage units. And then the best one I got, I kept. And we still have that one in storage somewhere. But, so, pretty good haul. 
Um, so we got one VHS, Blu-ray, DVDs, DVDs, books, CDs, clock, goes to the collection, that and that. But it's pretty good stuff. Uh, I've said it before, I do want to try and hold back on collecting. But every time I go to work, I keep finding cooler and cooler stuff. But uh, let me know if you guys like the non-media um, purchases. I also, along with the, the dresser I got, the nightstand, I got like a bunch of like cool statuettes of like uh, bookends and things for the new apartment too. But as always, share your thoughts on any of the media, the CDs, the books, the cameras. If you guys are film fanatics, if you like shooting on 35mm, I'd love to hear about it. So as always, like, comment, share, subscribe. See you next time.